In this video, you'll see me build the rest of the bikini bottom that is completely made out of Lego. So if you haven't already, go check out my first video so you can catch up to date. It'll be in the description down below. Alright, enough chit chat, let's hop straight into this nostalgic masterpiece. All right, guys, in order to finish this one off, of course, we're gonna be adding Mr. Krabs because it's Mr. Krabs' house. All right, guys, number seven is complete or part number one of the episode two of my Lego SpongeBob series. But anyway, here's Mr. Krabs' house and it looks awesome. Now, I was gonna make it dark blue, but I didn't have enough dark blue pieces. So we made it black, which was the closest color to dark blue. But I love the way this one looks. We used lots of slope pieces. And of course, we have Mr. Krabs right here. Yeah, I mean, I love it. And then we also used some chrome pieces up there for extra detail, dark red pieces, and it just looks awesome. So guys, stay tuned because you're not gonna want to miss out on the rest of this. It's gonna look amazing. Let's get on to the next one. All right, guys, for number eight, we're gonna be adding Sandy. Of course, I mean, it's Sandy's house, so you have to add Sandy. Faster than a barefoot jackrabbit on a hot, greasy grill. And then we're also gonna be adding Astronaut Patrick. <laughs> and also Astronaut SpongeBob from the older Lego SpongeBob set. All right, guys, number eight is complete, and here we have Sandy's house, and guys, I am extremely happy on the way this one turned out, using tons of trans clear pieces, and this one took me a while to put together. But yes, here we have Sandy, of course, and then I also wanted to add one of the older LEGO SpongeBob sets, and this is Sandy's spaceship, which is really cool because the spaceship actually opens up, and it also includes astronaut SpongeBob and astronaut Patrick. So yes, that'll do it for number eight. Now let's add it to the group and move on to the next one. All right, guys, for number nine, we're gonna be adding the king jellyfish. All right, guys, number nine is complete. And here we have the king jellyfish and he looks amazing. We have his magnificent cape and his crown as well, using lots of trans clear pieces. And I love the way this one turned out. This is our first of four parts we're gonna be adding to the jellyfish fields. So guys, you're not gonna miss out. Stay tuned now let's move on to the next one. All right guys, number 10 is complete. And now we have half of the jellyfish fields finished. And now we have two more to add to it and then it'll be completely done. Let's move on to the next two.
All right, guys, the jellyfish field is complete. And guys, I am in love with the way this one looks. We have the king jellyfish. We have SpongeBob kind of distracted by this little jellyfish while Patrick's trying to warn SpongeBob about this humongous jellyfish we have here. And they're scattered all around this piece as well. We use lots of seaweed looking pieces, rock pieces, dark gray bricks, lime green and normal green bricks as well to finish this whole thing. And guys, I love it. Now we are gonna be building the city of the bikini bottom. So guys, let's move on to the next view. All right, guys, number 13 and 14 is complete. And here we have half of the city built. Guys, it's looking amazing. So stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss out. But here it is. So far, we have this huge anchor and it's actually on this hinge piece. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's how I made it in a slanted form. And then we also have all these little houses in the background. And then we have these thicker houses and then a lighthouse and some other colorful houses as well. So that'll wrap it up for 13 and 14. Now let's move on to 15 and 16 to complete the city. All right guys, number 15 and 16 is complete and that'll do it for the Bikini Bottom City area. Now here's a reference picture if you guys are wondering what this looks like, but the OG SpongeBob fans will know what it looks like, so it's fine. But anyway, then we have the sign of the Welcome to Goo Lagoon, so we're gonna be building that next. But here's the city, guys. We've got the road that goes all the way in to there and then we've got some coral reef and stuff like that. And then we got some little uh, seaweed plants and all that stuff. And then here's all the buildings and all that and this big anchor, which was cool to make as well. But yes, that does it for all that. Now let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, part number 17 and 18 is complete. And here we have it, guys. Goo Lagoon is finally finished. We have tons of beach umbrellas and random minifigures scattering the whole beach. And we also have some palm trees as well to finish it off. All right, guys, Bikini Bottom is complete. And here we have it. Two weeks of grinding my butt off. We have finally finished the whole thing. So if you guys haven't liked and subscribed already, please go do so because... Man, this one I put blood, sweat, and tears into, and I'm extremely happy on the way this one turned out. So now let's get a moment of silence and take a quick little look of this masterpiece. Did you or did you not take part in various activities of zoo time merriment? Yes! And are you familiar with this peanut? Yes! Just one more question. Is it true that you were at the oyster's lair with a Mr. Patrick Starr? Yes! Yes, it's true! It's all true! 